Hey, what's up? Today, we're going to talk about the levels in the casino for the Casino Royale and Royal Caribbean, where you can play craps on a cruise in order to get a free cruise. Let's talk about the different levels in the casino and with the Royal Caribbean, which is called Crown and Anchor Society. So, hello, let's get started. Welcome to the Holy Roller, where it's all about playing craps and winning free cruises. I'm going to show you what it's all about. So, let's get rolling. All right, well, let's jump in and let's talk about the Crown and Anchor uh, levels, the Crown and Anchor Society. It's free to join. It doesn't cost any money. In fact, you can go to RollCaribbean.com and instead of signing in here, you would just press create account. If you go to, uh, I think it, it's actually, if you just go to there, there's like, I think it just pops up and it just says, uh, yeah. So up at the top, um, it says sign in. So even though you don't have a, a login, just press sign in. That'll take you to that page that you just saw a second ago. And then you just press create account. Once you press create account, um, then you just simply fill out your information here and then you'll be able to log in on royalcaribbean.com. Up in the top uh, right-hand corner, there'll be a, a crown and anchor number there and it will be, actually, it will be um, blank. And, and right below it, you'll say enroll now. And that's all you have to do is hit enroll now. It'll automatically generate and you're in with a crown and anchor number. And so how do the crown and anchor numbers work um, or the levels work with crown and, anchor, crown and anchor? It's pretty much, you could see gold here is three points. And three points is pretty much the nights you spend on the cruise. And so at this level, uh, if you have a three night cruise, you'll be gold um, or what they call pre gold. If you, if you only do like a two night, like a weekend cruise or something, but once you do um, like three nights, then you're gold. Once you get to 30 nights, you get to platinum. And we'll talk about a little bit more about that because uh, of what the perks are and stuff. But when you get to platinum, and you uh, book in a suite, uh, not a junior suite, I don't think, I think it has to be a, a suite. You actually get two points for every night. And then they also have some specials where uh, they'll say uh, double point cruise, you know, and, and so then if you book that cruise, you would get double the points. But the way you get the points is pretty much each night equals a point. Let's look at what they what the benefits are for being a part of the Crown and Anchor Society. Now, I'll tell you one right off the bat is sometimes when there's bookings, like the Crown and Anchor Society has uh, first dibs on a lot of bookings. Like there's a new ship coming out and the Crown and Anchor is able to book on that new ship before the non-Crown and Anchor Society members. And so again, it's free. Might as well sign up just to be a part of it and you'll and you'll be able to get offers there. So let's go and look at these Crown and Anchor Society member benefits. And so you can see the gold here with the three points, pretty much Crown and Anchor Society on, on board offers. So being a Crown and Anchor, there'll be discounts and different offers that are just for people that are enrolled in the Crown and Anchor Society. You'll it'll actually say it on your CPAS card, which is your key for your room and pretty much your ID when you're going around the ship um, and getting off and on the ship. Uh, you will have a CPAS card, um, which is it looks like a room card for like at a at a hotel or something like that. Um, and then you get private departure lounge with continental breakfast, all for just being being uh, being in the Crown and Anchor Society at the gold level um, once you have three points. All right. So then getting to 30, and I know that seems like a big jump, but as you go and, and you just go on a few few cruises, uh, if you watch our channel here, you can see that we uh, actually get free cruises and those nights count for points as well. And so um, if you're getting a free cruise offer every month and you just go on a couple different cruises, you'll be at platinum in no time. Don't worry. Uh, it, it looks like a giant jump or, or a giant leap, but it's not. All right. Um, and so the things that get added, you get an exclusive top tier event. 
and I'll tell you about this event. It's an event you get to go to uh, where you where you have a, a invitation, and it's where you talk to the captain, and there's the cruise directors usually there, and they recognize people that are becoming uh, pinnacle um, or diamond or or whatever, and you get like because you get pins, and I think that's that's uh that's over here. You get a signature pin, that third th thing right there. You get a signature pin delivered on the following cruise, not, not right when you hit the 30, but uh, when you get to the next cruise. And that's something to think about for all these benefits. If you're on, say you're say you're on your 29th night and then you, you go on a cruise and it's like, I hit 30. Now I'm at 30. By the end of this cruise, I'll be 33. You know, uh, the whenever you hit the level, it counts for the next cruise, not the one that you're on. And these are lifetime where it's not like something you have to earn like every uh, year or anything like that. It's it's just each night is, is right there. And then uh, I skipped this one, but uh, robes for use on board. So pretty much you just request, hey, can I get a robe uh, to deliver to my stateroom? And you get to use it, and uh, it's a it's a nice little addition, so you don't have to pack a robe. Um, and so I always told my wife, I just want to walk around with the robe, you know, just go to the pool with the robe, maybe go to the casino with the robe, <laughs> maybe not. All right, um, of course I'd have something on underneath it. All right, so so here we go. What what do we got here? Uh, the next one is emerald, and you can see there's one other thing that's added, and that is water. Uh, welcome water and snacks, beverage selection that's in your room when you get there. Um, and so that's awesome. You can also get a taste of this uh, if you uh, do what's called the key. There's a there's a benefit. If you're going to have the internet, you might as well just do the key because the key has some benefits, uh, special seating. It also has early departure. So the things that you would get at these levels, you can actually pay for. And the reason why I say if you're going to get internet, because I think internet's like $20, $28, $29 a night. And the 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 key is like $31. So it's like $2 extra. And you get uh, different perks that you would normally get up at these levels, like special seating and stuff like that. All right. So then you get to Diamond, which is uh, 80 points. And you can see that you get all of that stuff, plus you get a milestone recognition, you get a, a chef a choice gift, um, and then you get a, a priority list on excursions and in the spa, and then you get uh, access to the Diamond Lounge and nightly events, and you get an entertainment tour um, at this level where they pretty much just give you a tour of the ship, which is really that usually costs. I want to say that costs like 70, 80 bucks per person. So you get that each time when you're wanting to get on a new ship that you haven't been on before and you want to just get a tour of it. It's really awesome. The other thing that happens at this level, which isn't on here, I believe Diamond and Diamond Plus actually get some drink vouchers uh, per day. We're Emerald, so we're not quite at Diamond yet, but but uh, you get uh, you get like um, I think two or three, and then I think Diamond Plus gets like five um, uh, drinks uh, per day uh, that you can use, and they're like up to thirteen dollar drinks or something like that. Um, and so then that's Diamond Diamond Plus. I'm gonna have to scroll on this one. Look at all this stuff. 175 nights. Remember that won't be long. <laughs> it may take a couple years if you're just going on weekend ones. But once you start doing a couple, uh, seven days, eight days, nine days. I mean, these really add up pretty quick. Um, and so we have, let's see, um, we have a personalized gift, one per household when you get to, uh, what's, what is it? Diamond Plus. And then you get a um, priority access to the seating in the theater, ice shows, aqua theater events. You get uh, uh, cheers with the officers and members. Um, and then it says with 340 point uh, cruise points. So let's see. I think that's uh, that's something because that's 175 points. And then uh, so it's I guess you have 340, but not 700. So it's kind of like a, a level in between right when you get there. And then a bonus gift when you get 340 or 525 uh, per household. 
And the final one is you get a, a concierge uh, lounge access. So that's good. Uh, uh, you get some a good la- lounge access. All right, let's just jump to the pinnacle one. This this one is what it says, seven hundred points, and um, and then it it adds uh some some a sweet lounge access. Was that on the other one? All right, sweet lounge f- flexible ar- arrival where you don't have to pick arrival time and stick to your arrival time. You could probably just come anytime because there's a separate line for the for the pinnacle. Uh, people when you get to the port and then you get a pinnacle pin i think it even has your name on it um and they 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 present it to you um and then uh you get obviously ex- exclusive privileges because your cpass card will look different uh than everybody else's i think it also different if you're in a suite it's a different color so then then you can get into the suite area um for that um and then let's see daily breakfast specialty restaurants Coast, uh, I, I think it's called coastal, um, uh, some coastal something. <laughs> I can't believe I can't remember it, um, because I've always wanted to go in there. <laughs> coastal kitchen, that's what it's called. Um, and then, and then you have uh, exclusive nightly pinnacle club events, um, that happen. Um, and then look at the cruise plan. plan. There's more. Wait a minute. There's more. There's um additional benefits for all of these. And so you'll see you get the exclusive rates. So you actually get discounts um, when you're in Crown and Anchor. So that's easy to sign up and go up these levels. And, and then uh, you get discounts on balconies and, and suites at the, at the uh, pro, uh, what is it, the platinum level. And then you get uh, the s- matching celebrity cruises and uh, Crown and Anchor, Celebrity, and Royal Caribbean, they're together there, so so it transfers over. And then, uh, let's see, then going up to the next level uh, and going down, most of these are the same, so I'm going to just go right here. Uh, the the Emerald is the same, and so I'll just, I'll just keep going. You, um, milestone Certificate, um, I guess when you get to 700, that's on this one over here, uh, so you get a free cruise. Um, but man, we were able to get free cruises with the other stuff, right? And then uh, what do we got? Email offers. Um, mem- I mean, th- you can go down the list. And if you wanted to see this, you could just go and it says uh, Crown and Anchor Society. You could click it. You could read all these. But I figured I'd just do it here on the video because I want to match this together. And and I don't know if it has if it says anything about the drinks. Does it say anything about the drinks? Because I know they get the drinks. Because I know some people, and they'd be saying, "Hey, let me get you a drink. I have all these drinks." Because they, and, but, but they only get a certain amount of drinks per day. And then people that use the drink package, uh, they get they get uh, unlimited drinks. But the drink package on like a seven day cruise is over seven hundred dollars sometimes. So that's like a big, like people drink a lot because they're trying to get their money's worth on that. On that on that price tag that they got. So um, okay. So let's jump over to the casino, um, the casino Royale. Uh, this is Club Royale. And this one, to you can sign up. I have videos that show you how to sign up. You can go here. And I think it has like a place where you could sign up somewhere uh, on the page when you're looking for it. Um, and you just search Casino Royale when you're on Royal Caribbean. Uh, because it it's really hard to find, so you just have to use the search. Um, sorry, I'm pointing at it, but it's right here. Use the search there and and put in Club Royale Rewards Program, and then there'll be a place where you could sign up for that. However, if you have your CPass card, you go into the casino and you just use it, you'll automatically be earning points towards these different levels. Okay, and so let's talk about these levels really quick, and we'll um. We'll get into it uh, right after this. Well, we're about halfway into this video and I have to ask, have you liked it yet? Have you subscribed? Hey, uh, one thing that we do, and you might see this J-Line thing, this is a little advertisement in the middle of the video. Don't skip it because you might wanna hear about this, but we have a J-Line network and it's a network of people and we show people how to build multiple streams of income. And one of the, this channel is actually one of the streams of income that we're trying to create here. And so we have to get monetized with this and having likes and subscribes and shares and comments, 
all help with that. Or you can just go to the description and contribute to our bankroll and our monthly giveaways that we do with the J-Line Network. And you can learn more about that in the description. So now let's get back to what you're here for. Let's do it. All right. So now we're talking about the Casino Royale members level. Uh, and so this is it. It's it's choice, prime, signature, master. Very easy. It's not like all those different ones. And they're, and the thing is about these that's different than the, the Royal uh, Caribbean Crown and Anchor is that these ones start over every year. It goes from April 1st through um, uh, March 31st of the next year. Now, the other thing that's really cool about this is, and I'll just say like Prime. Prime is 2,500 points. At Prime, I'll tell you, and you'll see down here in a second, once you get 2,500 points uh, playing in the casino, you become Prime. Well, you become Prime uh, for the year that you earn it plus the following year. All right, so we're in, uh, we're in, say we're in 20, well, we're in 2022 and say it was like March of 2022 and you were on a cruise and you got 2,500 points in March. Well, in April, um, and actually if you took another cruise, your next cruise prime starts. And so say in, in, in March, you became prime, you're actually uh, prime for the that year which would be the rest of the month and the following year up until next march so that's like just a year right now imagine you're in april or october or whatever whatever month you're in and you go on a cruise you get 2500 points you become prime on your next cruise all the way through uh till uh march 31st then you remain prime because you earned it in that year, you get it for the year you earn it plus the following year. So you're prime for the rest of that year until March 31st. And then April 1st, you are prime, but your points start over. And so then you get prime and maybe you'll get to signature and we could talk a little bit about that. But I just want to let you know that, that you'll always go up to the next level during your next cruise. So it's not like the first night you get 2,500 points and you're like, hey, I'm prime. I want free drinks because that's one of the things that happen. I'm prime. I want free drinks. Now, they might do it if you talk to the casino host, but usually it's the next cruise that it starts on. So if you get to 2,500 points on a cruise, uh, the next cruise you go on, you will start getting uh, those, those benefits. And so let's talk about those benefits. All right. So let's talk about the choice. This is uh, new and it is. I'm just I'm not I'm not going to read all this stuff. I'm just going to go down to this this grid here. So the choice is from one point to two thousand four hundred and ninety nine, and you'll be able to get um, free free casino play. In fact, everybody on everybody that has that's eighteen years old, and that's the difference with this in on the international waters on the the the, the cruises. You have to be 18 years old to be in the casino and everybody on their CPAS card, whether they know it or not, the first two days of the cruise, they have free play on their card. So you're automatically choice. All you have to do is redeem that free play and it's starting up your, uh, your points. So, uh, so that I, a lot of people didn't know that because they don't want to go spend, um, their own money, but, but it's between $2 and sometimes 500. Sometimes, uh, you can use, uh, onboard credit in the casino as well. Um, it, it, you know, you could use it anywhere uh, for for specialty restaurants, um, extra packages, or in the casino. So onboard credits are cool. Um, but once you go in there and you use your card, you get free play. That's one of them. You get instant cruise reward certificates, uh, even at that level, because each cruise has a contest, and I think. Uh, like 400 points, you get um, $100 off your next cruise. So you'll get that certificate just by getting 400 points. And I think the next one, the next level, 600, 800 points, you get by 800 points, you get a, a complimentary cruise instant reward certificate for a complimentary cruise. Um, but it's on select dates. You can watch another video about that. But uh, but we're doing to talk about this. The Effie Boutique, this is a jewelry, fine jewelry, and where the, wherever the shops are available, you have $200 gift certificate uh, for them. And I will say this, with the $200, 
you might say, oh, I'm going to just go get a $200 bracelet. That's $200 off. You have to at least spend $600 for that one. And I would assume for the $250, you'd have to spend $750 for that one. You know, so it's a third, pretty much a third of it. Um, a lot of people don't know that. They don't advertise that. But I found that out when I wanted to go get a $200 <laughs> item and they're like well you have to spend six to get it i said well let's see how it goes in the casino tonight and then i might be back <laughs> all right so uh this one's really cool because that's i mean that's all you get pretty much i mean uh you get the exclusive offers that start coming in i would say once you get 800 points you start getting exclusive casino offers those monthly offers in the mail that we've been talking about um and then you get the uh the vip events access to club royal vip events um at that level all right, so then let's look at Prime because Prime, in my opinion, getting to Prime is where you want to be. Uh, 2,500, you can see the giant jump from 2,500 to 25,000 pretty much. Now, I got to 2,500 um, 2, uh, points. Uh, I know some people, they get it in one cruise. And uh, we had we took somebody, because we take people on cruises, we show them how to earn free cruises. So we took somebody on a cruise, we coached them, we taught them, we showed them how to do it. And I think they used about $800. So for $800, they got 2,500 points. And that's because they were playing all the different strategies that we show them. And they um, they they got a free cruise they actually got two free cruises because getting the prime gets you a free cruise. And then while you're on a cruise, if you get to 800, like I said before, you get a free cruise. And so we'll talk a little bit about that in a second. So the next thing is whenever you're at the table and you want to give your CPAS card, uh, you give your CPAS card, they could charge it to your room, um, and but it costs 5%. Uh, to, And that's that, that, that casino convenience fee of 5%. Uh, when your choice. But once you get to Prime, they waive that. It's not 5% fee. So it, it doesn't cost you anything. I will say this as well. When you're on the cruise and you charge to your room and maybe there's a credit card charged to your room, in real life, <laughs> when you're not on a cruise, if you wanted to get cash off of your credit card, a lot of times that's like a cash advance. And so you pay higher percentage for that. Um, but on the cruise, um, the cruise actually just charges it and it says entertainment on, on the bill. And so it's not a cash advance. It's literally a credit card charge and it's just charged to your room. So that's something to think about there because I know the um, the interest rates are different for that those kind of things. So that's good to know about that. Um, and then you get... Here we go. Complimentary drinks in the in the royal in the casino royale. So something that's very important to know is uh, whenever you go on a cruise, there's going to be soda packages, bar packages, all these kind of packages, and there's bars and and drinks everywhere. Now, if you didn't get a drink package, there's water, there's tea, there's lemonade, there's coffee. Not specialty coffee, but regular coffee. Like so, it's not like you need a drink package. But here you get complimentary drinks. This is sodas. This is Red Bulls. This is alcoholic drinks, all kinds of drinks. Uh, and it's unlimited in the casino, but it is only in the casino and when the casino is open. Know that the, the casino is not open all the time. And so being that the casino is not open all the time, you won't be able to get a drink, uh, you know, 24 seven, because sometimes at, when you're at port and the days you're at port, the casino doesn't open until late at night. So you wouldn't be able to just go get a drink um, unless the casino bar is open. So it's not at any bar. It's just at the casino bar. But you get complimentary drinks when you get to that prime level. And then with the uh, the internet package, you get a discount. All right. So when you see it here, uh, we can get to 25,000. Um, you, you get one device internet. And I'll tell you, one device internet is probably like 150 bucks for a cruise, uh, give or take. So you're you're getting from 2,500 all the way to 25,000. Which if it if it does take you, I mean, even if, if, if it takes you a, a half of that, um, you know, like so we talked about 800 dollars, but let's say it took uh, 1,200 dollars to get or 1,250 to get to the 2,500 you'd have to spend at least $10,000 to get one extra device. <laughs> Maybe uh, I'm just saying like, uh, if, if you get a big jackpot, go ahead, do it, I guess. But let's scroll down because I want to show you this other stuff. Basically, 
when you get that, you get a, when you get to the prime, you can see all of these are the same. The only difference is an interior, a balcony, or a grand suite. And so let's look at what these things are here. Uh, pr priority contact number. So you have a number that you can call when it's time to book. Instead of just calling regular number, they give you access to that number. Um, you get um, exclusive rates for families and friends for additional staterooms. So that's good. And then you get uh, special offers on in with land-based casinos. Um, I haven't really seen this um, and I'm at the prime level and I, I want to be at the prime level. I'm not trying to get to another level, but uh, I mean, if I do, that's great, but I'm not like shooting for it and trying to spend money to get there. Um, but uh, I haven't really seen this, although MGM uh, rewards is, is uh, MGM rewards and Royal Caribbean have a partnership. So these go together and then you can see annual complimentary cruise. Now you might say, Hey, you said, Brian, wait a minute. You said we can get monthly cruise offers. Now, this one right here is different than, where is it? It's up here. Uh, instant cruise certificates or monthly cruise offers uh, that, that come in the mail. The reason why those are different is because the ones that you get in the mail, and I'll show you right here. I think it's right here. Uh, this, this looks like it. It's a one. And see these dates you could choose from? And then uh, I think, uh, is there another one? Is there, uh, is there another one that I had up right here? Same thing. So you can go to clubroyaloffers.com, type in your last name with your crown and anchor number, and you'll be able to pull up and see all of your offers there. And so you can see all the ite itineraries. And so um, I'll show you this one here. Let me see if I can exit this out. Okay. See this one where it says $500 trade-in value. This one is, uh, or no, wait. Yeah. There's one up here too. I have to look at that, but the, there's one up here too. See this one at the top. It says, uh, it's my interior and it's good until March 31st of 2023, $500 trade-in value. This one is, uh, this one is the anytime cruise and all these other ones are just ones that either I won, uh, while I was on a cruise or that they just gave me because they give me monthly offers. And so you can see the April, June offer, uh, and, and it's, I have to book that. So it's for selling in April through June, but I have to book it, um, by November, you know, for next, and then it's next year. Um, and so all these different offers come in and then when you use them, they disappear. So I've used some, so they're not all there, but, um, but so going back to this, to this offer here, this interior offer, this one, and that one at the, that was at the top that we were just looking at, it is actually, uh, any seven day cruise that you want to do like any seven day cruise. And then say I wanted to do an eight day or a nine day that's when I would get the $500 off. Okay. So $500 off. Um, and that would include for the whole, uh, price or, or ticket with two people. Um, and this complimentary cruise, I could pick any seven day cruise uh, from anywhere going anywhere. And, um, and it includes two people and all you have to do is pay the taxes and port fees. And so, um, I have another video that kind of shows you how to figure out how much that would cost. Basically you uh, search, let me see if I can, it's probably right here somewhere. Yeah, basically you just search the cruise that you wanna go on. Say I could pick any seven night, so I could just pick this one. And then I could see that it's $746, but I know that it'll cost me right there, $138. All right, let's get out of there. All right, um, so that would cost $138 for that cruise. That's that's this one and the other ones that you get to choose from when you pick dates, you can see what what they are. So basically, this interior stateroom, um, you can when you get it, you can always upgrade to an ocean view. You can upgrade to a balcony. It just costs a couple hundred dollars more. It's different for different ships, but on the on the promos that you get, some of the promos, uh, it is a balcony stateroom that you get. So the promos are that that come each time and when you're winning them on the cruise itself 
So each cruise has like a special offer for these instant cruise reward certificates. Uh, make sure to go to the casino host and say, hey, what's the offer? What's the promo for this cruise while I'm on? And so say I get to 1500 points on this cruise, I'm going to win a, a complimentary cruise certificate for like a lot of different dates. And maybe I, maybe I only get 800 points. I'm going to have like maybe 20 dates to choose from or whatever. The more points you get, the more dates you have to choose from. Um, but once you get to 2,500, you'll get that certificate where you get to choose from dates, but then you'll also get down here interior stateroom one per year um, you'll get to choose any date and it's a seven day uh, or less like it doesn't have to be a seven day it could be like a five day or a six day where whatever and so so that's the that's the different levels and so getting 2500 to a hundred thousand points sorry twenty five thousand to a hundred thousand points really I mean one device two device, I mean, I guess if you're going to get to 100,000, yeah, you could get all kinds of like awesome stuff. But man, uh, I talk, I have a friend that, that was, uh, I think he's signature. And he's like, hey, for the amount of money I spent on signature, uh, I mean, look at the benefits. I, I'm har I'm hardly getting any difference, you know, because because I could just I could just pay a couple hundred dollars to upgrade from interior to balcony. And, and then that would be fine, you know, instead of having to, pay thousands of dollars getting to signature in order to do that. And remember these, these points reset every year, every March 31st, then April 1st, it's like April fools, your points are gone. <laughs> but even though your points are gone, your level isn't gone. You just have to start earning your points again. And I could probably earn 25. I mean, I know people have earned 2,500 points in one cruise a seven day, uh, or I think it was a six night, uh, cruise and they 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 earn 2500 points with 800 bucks so um it can be done in one cruise um so so i wanted uh i don't think this shows it here but um a lot of times oh here it is right here so uh, a lot of people say well how many how many points can you get i mean really when you look at it i mean it's right here and it's uh i like craps i think craps some people will say craps is like the worst and then uh, worst getting points. And some people will say, oh, you have to go to the slot machines. You know, that's where you get your points. And you can see right here on slot machines, you earn one point for every $5 you play in the slot machine and $10 that you play on the video poker machine. So video poker, $10 gets you one point and uh, slot machines, five dollars gets you one point so a hundred dollars in that slot machine if you put in a hundred dollars and you lost it doom, 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 and didn't win anything uh it would be 20 points pretty much um but what happens with slot machines is they go up and down and i have a video about that that you can watch it kind of shows you how that works um earning points on the table is based on the table game you're playing and your average bet uh and how long and how long you play so it's the it's the table game it's the average bet and it's how long you play. So I've figured it out with craps. Um, I haven't done the others. Um, I, and I should do them just with a certain amount of money for a certain amount of time and then see how many points I get just to kind of have an idea. And then I can uh, put that on a video. But notice this, certain games are not eligible for earning points such as Texas Hold'em Poker, Keymaster, Cash Crane, and point, Coin Pushers. But I think this one's the surprise. Texas Hold'em Poker, people are sitting there playing and they're wondering why they're not getting any points. And I would say the last thing uh, about this um, is on a table game of craps, uh, you don't get points when you play odds. So a lot of times people, you know, they'll put $10 on the pass line and they'll put uh, or $25 on the pass line and $50 uh, behind for odds. And that only counts as a $25 bet, not a $75 bet. And so people are betting, and especially people that play the don'ts, they'll put 100 on, uh, you know, 200 on the don't, and then 600 on odds, and they only get pay, they only get credit for 200 on that on that bet, not 600 or 800, you know. And so that's something to think about when, uh, and that's why I don't play odds because I I just play odds even, and I think statistically 
uh, and mathematically it works out whether you play odds or not, you're going to break, you're going to make the same amount of money over the long haul. If you just want to come in, hit it really quick and then, you know, play odds and win a bunch of money and leave, that's fine. You can do that. You can take that money and use that for the next cruise because you're definitely not going to get points if you're only there for a couple minutes. You have to play for at least an hour to really get some points uh, accumulated for these different levels. All right. So I hope this video helps. And now let's go to the end of the tag. Yes, it's the tag. It's the part of the video at the end where you don't leave yet because that's where I say, hey, uh, subscribe and watch this video for more. And then I also say something like, um, and I hope to see you cruising and rolling at a craps table soon. So watch this video now. Here we go.